video, we would be doing the favorite brown ring test. This brown ring test is used to detect the presence of nitrate ion, which is NO3 minus. All that you need for this test is some ferrous sulfate and some sulfuric acid and some nitric acid. Uh, what would be happening in this test is ferrous sulfate, fe freshly prepared solution of ferrous sulfate is taken. If the solution is made earlier, there's a chance that the ferrous present would oxidize to ferric due to the presence of atmospheric oxygen, which is a good oxidizing agent. So if ferric sulfate is produced, this test would be a given negative. Ferrous sulfate reacts with nitric acid. You can also take the uh, salt of nitrate. Sulfuric acid would convert that salt of nitrate to nitric acid. Here I'm taking nitric acid directly. Ferrous sulfate reacts with nitric acid and sulfuric acid to give us ferric sulfate. This ferric sulfate is formed because uh, sulfuric acid and nitric acid being good oxidizers oxidize this Fe plus 2 to Fe plus 3 and uh, water and some nitrogen monoxide. This nitrogen, mon this step is required for the in situ preparation of nitrogen monoxide. I want this nitrogen monoxide for my next step. Here, ferrous sulfate would form a complex in the solution, which is hexa-aqua ferrous sulfate, and uh, this would react with the in situ nitrogen monoxide to give us a brown ring complex. This is a brown ring complex, which uh, which is which uh, you know confirms the presence of nitrate present in the solution. This brown ring complex is named as Penta aqua nitroso ferrous sulfate. This is the coordination sphere over here, and we get some water. This complex is unstable to vigorous shaking of the test tube and to addition of more sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid, when added to water in excess, produces heat, a lot of heat. This complex would be unstable and dissociated, dissociate to give us ferrous sulfate back. So let's start with the reaction. I'll be taking some ferrous sulfate in a test tube. Oh, before that, let me put on my safety gear on because sulfuric acid is highly corrosive. I'll take some, I'll make a fresh, I'll make a solution of uh, our ferrous sulfate. You can see if ferrous sulfate is a good crystal. I have this ferrous sulfate which I have is quite impure. So there would be some suspended impurities also in the solution. I feel that impurities might not hinder our test. So Add some water to it. As I told you earlier, that uh, freshly prepared solution of sul uh, ferrous sulfate is highly important for this reaction because oxygen may oxidize the ferrous to ferric, which would give a negative test. So, as you can see, I have made a ferrous sulfate solution. There are some impurities suspended over here. I feel that might not cause hindrance to us. Uh, I would like to wash this drop of it. Here, ferrous sulfate, and I'll add some sulfuric acid to it. Be extremely careful while handling sulfuric acid because uh, it is highly corrosive. And add the sulfuric acid extremely slowly. An inclined position of your test tube is important while adding sulfuric acid because this reaction is highly addition of sulfuric acid to 
what uh, any aqueous solution is highly exothermic. So to avoid spilling of sulfuric acid, hold the test tube in an inclined position and the, let the mouth of the test tube face away from you. I feel uh, this is enough. So. I have some nitric acid with me. Add nitric acid very slowly. You could see the formation of a brown complex down there. That is nothing but the complex which I had spoken about. Penta Aqua. You can see that. Let it wait for some time so that the complex forms a good ring. This complex is unstable to heat and addition of further sulfuric acid. So please, you need to be a uh, very careful while performing this test because uh, shaking the test tube would you know de uh, decompose this complex you could see clearly that there's a good ring brown colored ring fine ring which is formed which is nothing but the complex penta aqua nitrous of ferrous sulfate and the the layer which is above the ring is our uh, ferrous sulfate solution and the layer which is down which is at, uh, below the ring is the sulfuric acid which we had added because the specific gravity of sulfuric acid is more sulfuric acid settles down so this is the brown ring test and that's all from my side in this video i hope you like like this brown ring test uh, please do like share subscribe and please do comment and please do support my Patreon page, for which I would provide a link in the uh, description down below. Thanks for watching.